So at the much prodding of the No Man's Sky fan base, I finally got around to downloading No Man's Sky through the Xbox Game Pass. So for those of who, those of you who aren't aware, I actually have went ahead, played No Man's Sky, got a feel for the game, understood it, uh, looked at it, had a had a a taste, just just a taste, a sampling of what this game offers, and. Uh, I was absolutely right about everything. Out of all the games I've played on Xbox Game Pass, literally all of them, and I've played some real shit, including like the Battletoads 2020 game and uh, Sea of Thieves. Out of all the games I have played on Xbox Game Pass, No Man's Sky is indisputably the absolute worst. Like out of every single game on there, from the Power Rangers fighting game to Soul Calibur 6, no game bored me to tears faster and more effectively than No Man's Sky. I, and I do think um, basically all of my complaints from my last video still hold up. Uh, th here's the thing I don't think a lot of people understand about me is that like I thoroughly, thoroughly understand what a game is before I start talking shit about it. Like I don't talk shit about games that I don't know how to play basically. Like if I don't know how to play it, it's fine. Uh, if I don't know anything about it, okay, whatever. Like I won't I won't talk shit about it. But if you're No Man's Sky and you have a fan base that adamantly believes that the game has significantly improved since it first came out. Like, of course, I'm going to call bullshit. Like, of course, I'm going to address the elephant in the room, all the negative reviews, all the uh, all the streamers, like everyone, everyone who's covered this game, everyone I know personally has been very adamantly clear. No Man's Sky has not changed at all since day one on the actual fundamental level, right? Like, all they do is slap on a like a, a few kinds of enemy types and and some bullshit like mechanics but like all in all like like as a end result like the game is unchanged like it's still a slow plotting tedious survival game where you try to gather resources and and try to leave planets why why would you explore this galaxy it's not like it's procedurally generated. There's nothing interesting to see anywhere. It's not like it's all the same. It is. It's not like all these animals are just ugly as fuck and just <sighs> completely, completely unnecessary. Like, so many people, so many people have tried day and night to present this narrative that No Man's Sky is good now. It's become better. It's improved. It's, it's... It's uh, it's it's in good, according to internet historian. So many people tried to do that, and uh, within 15 minutes of playing this game on Xbox Game Pass, like I knew that was a load of crap, right? I knew, like a lot of people know, you're being lied to. Like when it comes to these uh, updates that improve the game, it's nothing but. It's nothing but a coping mechanism for brain dead fanboys who can't accept the fact that they were wrong about a product, right? They legit thought that No Man's Sky was going to be this revolutionary open universe game with a fully un explorable universe with like factions and like a, a career a career path you could go down, you could create your own no man's sky like society and shit like that uh deal with these alien races like so, there was so much weird bullshit going on there's so many bullshit like rumors and speculation about this game that i really really want to go back and look on i would love love to see what a typical 4chan post about the game looked like pre-release because uh because like you fuckers brought it on yourself like i hate to say this but uh like sean murray lied right sean murray lied about everything like we all know that that's kind of like that's kind of a thing like in spite of what internet historian has tried to do has trying to do to damage control the situation like by and large um by and large sean murray is still a liar right he's still damage controlling he's still doing his thing what you the consumer should have done is like just say prove it like sell this game to me like i i don't believe you and not a single person in the no man's sky community no one in the playstation universe in the playstation community really acknowledged that sean murray the marketing behind the game and above all else 
PlayStation's involvement in it was a problem or is a problem, uh, I should I which I should say, and needs to be addressed. Not one person in this group of people was willing to really take Sony to task, really have them like uh, really hold them responsible for for their role in this. Like really, all you had to do, all the player base had to do was just not believe his lies. Don't buy into the hype. Like, wait until you actually see real gameplay footage because this was all it is. Like, just a bunch of hype, fake-ass trailers, and uh, game journalists trying to pretend this game was good. Like, that, that's all it is. Like, like, pure propaganda. And you bought into it hook, line, and sinker. And uh, still continue to do so if you actually perpetuate this myth that the game is somehow better with these yearly updates they they crank out every year to try to keep the game relevant it's just it's one of the most uh telling this is the most one of the most frustrating situations i think i've ever seen uh, out of this generation of games because we've had like no man's sky was basically the definitive playstation ip in a weird way like uh it had this ridiculous hype cycle it launched to crickets like, complete insane backlash from player base. And uh, a couple of years later, no one remembers it, no one cares. And a bunch of people even uh, even try to pretend the game is not only good, but one of the best ever. Y y you know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's incredibly frustrating. It is, it is unbearably obnoxious. And uh, I, uh, hopefully, with the help of the Xbox Game Pass, I will be able to stand up against it and acknowledge these kind of situations as they happen. I hope... I hope we will no longer again, we will never again experience the terror that is Sean Murray and No Man's Sky. Uh, I'm here now. I'm here. I, I will go berserk for you. I will do any, everything in my power to call out, you know, the PC gamers, the PlayStation fanboys, the gaming journalists, like literally everyone. I am going to challenge the world to make sure that Nintendo is acknowledged as the greatest game development studio of all time. Enough with the lies, enough with the bullshit, enough with pretending Bloodborne is one of the greatest games of all time, enough with like pretending that No Man's Sky is good, enough with covering your friend's indie games, enough with like these terrible rehashes of IPs that no one likes, like Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, and just enough. It's over. Like, this is the end. You are going to be taken down a peg. It's... So, uh, we... We need to um, have a real conversation about this, right? We need to have a real conversation about... About what's been happening in the gaming community. Like, we need... The community needs to stop getting excited for every shiny new thing they dangle in front of our faces. If it's not a game you can pop in and play right now, it isn't a game that's worth talking about.